actually getting the opportunity to break down the goals and show you true mm -hmm. tactical analysis. Let's call this segment the Players Club. A couple of players here, former players. We like to consider ourselves players at least. We do. <laughs> but you know what? I don't want to break down the quality that Liverpool showed going forward. What I want to break down is something defensively, where it went wrong for Manchester United. So as we show the first goal here that they conceded in the first half, Michael, I want you to tell me what went wrong. Well, when you get this, Kobe Manu, he's going to have acres of space, but this is where United get stuck. Casemiro, as a midfielder, I used to have a coach that used to say this all the time. You can't lose the ball first time. Then Kobe Manu again. Not enough urgency to get back. They're all over the place. Masrawi way up the field, but this starts with Casemiro. As a defensive midfielder, yep. okay, you know that you have two of your outlets there, but it's about decision making. We're going to see this, Ian. When the ball plays, who was open on the far right side? Masrawi. Decision making poor from the Brazilian. Let me point something out to you here. Obviously, a nine on possession of the ball. United want to play forward every single time. When the ball gets out to Cody Minor as we roll this one forward, you can see Minor's position is excellent. Watch as the play goes forward. I want you to just spot Garnacho's movement right here at the bottom of the picture. Garnacho's going to make this movement. Bruno recognizes that Garnacho's about to make this run here, mm -hmm. and that would have been the ball right over the top, wouldn't it? It would have been absolutely sexy to see that type of a delivery. But then again, I want to roll it back and then roll it forward because I want you to just see something right here. When the ball comes into Bruno, I want you to watch the referee's position. Who gets in the way of this pass from Bruno Fernandes right here? El Arbitro. Look at Anthony Taylor's position and watch his reaction right now as soon as Bruno is looking for that forward pass. He knows he's in the way. Woo! Why is the referee in that position? Now Bruno's got to go backwards towards obviously Casemiro who eventually gave away possession of the ball. But you can clearly see from Anthony Taylor's position, why is he so close to the ball? Why is he in the way of the forward pass? Now at Manchester United, they always want to play forward, right? That's what you're taught to do. Bruno wants to play forward. The run from Garnacho. look at his position. <laughs> He's, He's going open. forward. He's the open. Balls on. And Anthony Taylor got in the way. Again, we know what happened offensively. Casemiro gave away possession of the ball. We don't need to show you the finish here. Let's go, obviously, here. Let's go, obviously, to the next goal to break down because this one. Mm. Not as crazy, but still as good and entertaining. Watch Casemiro picks up possession of the ball, wants to play the ball forward. Who's in the way? Oh. Referee again, but Ian, you talk about the referee. As a midfielder, you have to have that first thought of who is going to be that easy access pass. Referee is not directly in front. He's off to the side. The referee moves like this. If you're Casemiro, you feel the pressure. Yep. This has to be an automatic pass to Zastro Xerxes. But he can only do it so quickly, though, because every single time, if you look at him, he wants to go forward quickly, right? And Anthony Taylor's right in front of him. He can't even see Xerxes because Taylor's possession might go. He's got to want to play that ball forward. Obviously, he has an option here, and he does get sloppy in the ball, and there's no taken anything away from Casemiro. He deserves that type of a criticism. Absolutely. But my personal opinion, no one's talking enough about the referee's play here. The officials don't get the opportunity to speak to the media after the games. I would love to have heard from Bruno. I would have loved to have heard from Casemiro. I would love to have heard from Anthony Taylor, who got in the way as far as I'm concerned, not on one goal, but on two goals when Manchester United went down. Nobody's talking about this, Michael, and I kind of want your thoughts on that. Yeah, it's frustrating, especially when you go to the DNA of Manchester United. You really broke it down well with that pass from Bruno that we see 